Hi everyone, this is Dr. Anime Shah. I am a consultant clinical oncologist and today we will be discussing about nasopharyngeal cancer. So nasopharynx is the part of the pharynx or throat which lies behind the nose and any cancer involving nasopharynx is called nasopharyngeal cancer. The commonest type of nasopharyngeal cancer is squamous cell carcinoma. According to Globocon data 2020, uh, there are about 6,000 new cases of nasopharyngeal cancer in India in 2020 along with 4,000 deaths. Epstein-Barr virus is one of the causative agents for nasopharyngeal cancer. So apart from that, smoking can cause nasopharyngeal cancer. Exposure to nitrosamines which is often present in salt cured or smoked fish and can often cause nasopharyngeal cancer. Genetic factor and heavy alcohol intake can also be a causative agent for nasopharyngeal cancer. Patients of nasopharyngeal cancer often present with blocked nose or bleeding from nose or cranial nerve dysfunction. Sometimes patient might present with a painless lump in the neck or even hearing loss or tinnitus, etc. So whenever a patient of suspected nasopharyngeal cancer comes to us, we take a detailed history of the patient. We clinically examine the patient and request for some routine blood test. Patient will need a uh, nasoendoscopic examination. Uh, and often need an examination under bio anesthesia and guided biopsy. Once a biopsy confirms the cancer, we often request for an MRI scan of the face and neck, sometimes a CT scan to check for local and distant spread. In patients who are contemplated for curative intent treatment, we often ask for a whole body PET CT scan to check for any distant spread of the cancer. Sometimes if we notice any suspected neck lump, we ask for a FNSC test to check whether the cancer has spread to the neck nodes or not. In advanced stage, we sometimes ask for certain molecular markers like PDL1. So, based on the tumor size, local extent of the tumor, uh, spread of the tumor to neck node or distant organ, nasopharyngeal cancer can be divided into four stages stage 1 to stage 4. Treatment of nasopharyngeal cancer depends on many factors including a patient age, patient's general fitness, medical comorbidities of the patient and stage of the disease. Treatment of stage 1 nasopharyngeal cancer. Single modality treatment with radiotherapy is often preferred treatment for stage 1 nasopharyngeal cancer. Treatment of stage 2 nasopharyngeal cancer. Radiotherapy along with chemotherapy is often the recommended treatment for stage 2 nasopharyngeal cancer. Treatment of stage 3 and selected stage 4 patient. This group of patients are usually treated with combination of radiotherapy and chemotherapy together. Patients who are unfit for combination treatment might sometimes be treated with radiotherapy alone. For fit patients, sometimes we add chemotherapy before or after concurrent chemoradiotherapy to reduce the risk of recurrence further. When radiotherapy is contemplated, intensity modulated radiotherapy, which are also known by the name of volumetric arc therapy or rapid arc therapy, are preferred over conventional treatment. This technique has been showing promising result. With this technique, we can precisely target the cancer and spare the surrounding normal structure and thus reduce the side effect. Treatment of stage 4 nasopharyngeal cancer. This group of patients are usually incurable. The primary treatment at this stage is to treat the cancer with chemotherapy or targeted therapy or immunotherapy or their combination. Sometimes patients might need palliative radiotherapy for symptom control like plain or 
pain or bleeding. Stage 1 to 3 nasopharyngeal cancer and selected stage 4 nasopharyngeal cancer can be cured with available treatment. Stage 4 nasopharyngeal cancer usually cannot be cured. The, the aim of treatment at this stage is to control the cancer, to control the symptoms from the cancer and to try to improve the quality and quantity of life for the patient. Thank you for watching.